So, just before I get into the video, uh, I gotta say I'm gonna be gone for four months. I'm going to a military base in the middle of nowhere, and I will be there working in their kitchen. Uh, so, I will see you all when I get back. Uh, that's all I had to say. Enjoy the video. Or don't enjoy the video. Really, it's up to you. Hello, and welcome back to my laboratory, where today I'm gonna teach you how to use the fossil machine in Cobblemon 1.5. Eh, like that. I couldn't find my F1 key for some reason. Go figure, I'm not a scientist. But anyway, to begin, you first need the fossil analyzer, the data monitor, and the restoration tank. You can get these from the following crafting recipes behind me. The restoration tank, you need three iron, four glass, a composter for some reason, and a revive. I'm sure there's a reason for the composter, but I, I can't think of it right now. For the fossil analyzer, you need four cobble deep slate in the four corners, an amethyst shard, two iron ingots on either side of the middle, a piece of glass in the direct middle, and a piece of redstone. And for the data monitor, you need five iron, for some reason I didn't see the two on the bottom, and two copper, one piece of glass in the middle, and a redstone torch. You then need to set up these three devices in this order. In the bottom left, you have the fossil analyzer. Above that, you have the data monitor. And to the right, you have the restoration tank. This will not work in any other configuration. Do not even bother. Next, all you need is a fossil. We'll uh, go over how to get fossils in just a minute. We need to go to another world in order to get them because Super Flat doesn't have uh, what we need to find them. But you just toss them right into the fossil analyzer. And you'll notice it doesn't start. Why doesn't it start? That doesn't make any sense. I threw the fossil in there. You need fuel. And the fuel that it takes is Max Revives. Now you can see there's this little loading bar on here. And that's going to fill as the fossil regenerates. And it can be quite a lengthy process. So let's get another one on the go here. We'll do the plume fossil as well. Great! And while those suckers are over there, kind of just filling themselves up slowly, we're going to go on a field trip. Let's go see if we can find us some fossils. Hello, and welcome to the prehistoric eroded pillar. In order to, you know, get fossils, you're first going to need the brush. And you're going to need to find... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that again in English, uh, instead of whatever gibberish I just said that in. You're going to need to find a suspicious gravel, which, you know... I think we just got lucky in our first go- or was that flint? Oh, it's just flint. That sucks. Break you, you're useless to me now. You're not suspicious, Gravel. Oh. I think it's bone meal. Oh no! No, we got a- we, we got a fossil! Look at that! Uh, and it's a tyrant fossil! Neat! So, yeah, uh, structures like these are found throughout the world now. You just need to brush and to brush away the suspicious sand or suspicious, uh, gravel. And you can get yourself a fossil. It's just that- what the heck is that over there? What is that? What is that? Oh. Well, that's funny. <laughs> uh, hello, Gimmagool. How's it going? I'm not gonna catch you. I'm not gonna bother. You can- you can stay there. Relax. Live your best life. I'm gonna I'm gonna go away now. Back to the lab. Ah, one of them is done. Come on. You can do it, Archon. I believe in you. Come on. Come on. There's a good boy. Come on. Oh, look at you. You look all naked and gross. Anyway, to collect your fossil, just uh, take any ball. It'll automatically catch them. And right click the tank. Look at that. You can see on the left, I now have a shield on. Oh. And Archon. And that's pretty much all you need to know about getting the fossils. Uh, we got went over the crafting recipes, we went over how to get the fossils, and how to set up the tank in the precise order you need in order to activate them. And the unfortunate fuel you need in order to run them. I don't know if you can run them on just uh, revives. Let's check that out. Whoops. I did that thing where I went literal. And I'll grab a, we'll say, fossilized fish? Actually, no. Yes. Yes, and a fossilized dino. And we're gonna put them just like that. 
And uh, this is how you get the uh, the Galar fossils. You have to put two fossils in the machine. Oh, okay. You can use just the revive. It just takes more of them. So the max revive will give it two. Fill it halfway and then halfway. And normal revives, you need four of them. I think. I can't count. I can't math. I never said I was smart. I'm just here in a laboratory. Uh, they really shouldn't put me in charge of this, should they? Anyway, that's going to be it for me from today. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, let me know down below. English. If it was, let me know down below, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, see you later.